Good morning, guys and gals. Froggy here. What I have for you today is a video on how to install backup lights, brighter LED backup lights on your C6 Corvette. Uh, may work on some other Corvettes, but I'm going to put it on my C6, which is my new car most recently. There it is right there. And this is from a company called Oxylam, and I bought these on Amazon, and I haven't even opened them up yet, so let's open them up. So they come as a pair for $15 plus shipping or whatever if you pay shipping. Um, I'm a Prime member on Amazon, so I didn't have to pay any shipping. You, you should look at some of the other videos and some of the other... LED products that are being sold these are really nice looking compared to some of the other ones look at the I don't know if that's machining or casting but that is pretty beautiful and well made um, I don't know the brightness of this let's see if there's any uh, specification Energy saving, appearance is nice, and we already said that. It's going to be easy to install, I think. I'm going to show you how to install them. Uh, they last a long time, and instant on. Uh, so, I'm not sure if that's a, a feature or not, because I never had any trouble with my backup lights coming on slow. However, I did have trouble with them being too dim. Uh, my car has a... Uh, tinted back, which I like the look of it on a black car, um, and also it keeps everything cooler inside, having a tint. Um, however, uh, it makes it hard to look out the back window, especially at night when it's dark. Uh, so here's the, the backup lights are down low. I don't know if you can see that very well. Let's see if I can focus. So. Uh, we're going to put them in. Let's go. One thing I want to take note of and point out to you, let me get a little focus here, is these LEDs, they, they have LEDs pointing that way, and then all the way around there's additional LEDs. And I don't think you're going to see that on other comparable products. So this is really going to fill up the reflector part of your backup light um, it's going to fill it up with light a lot uh, so here we go okay froggy is under the car i've i've got the car jacked up and uh, be safe use jack stands mostly i did this to make it easier to video you might be able to do this just by reaching after Froggy shows you how to do it, I'm going to show you which way to turn that green uh, bulb holder, and uh, then you can you can try it. Just you you be doing it blind, so to speak. You just have to reach under and and get to that holder. Um, but I wanted I wanted obviously to videotape it for you, so here it is. So what you do is you twist upwards on the the squarish the boxy boxy-ish end of the green holder you twist it up just twist it there's no release or anything you have to touch on this is a 2013 Corvette just twist it up and then pull it towards you and it's out I don't know if I can reach in there and Pull it while I'm video -y, video taping. I don't know if you even call it videotape anymore because there's no tape. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to. I would like to. There. Maybe. Maybe. Oops. There. Okay. I got it. Okay, so that's where you're going to plug in the new one and take out the old one. I'm going to show you. Don't worry. 
out on the bench here because I just wanted to explain to you a little bit more about these little latches here. You can see you've got pretty much the identical latch on the replacement LED and these contacts are much bigger on the replacement than they are. This is just like a little piece of wire on the original uh, one there. Oh, well, that's better. That's better there. So what's important when these are manufactured is that these dimensions of depth, these little ears that hold it in, and the piece that goes in have to be the same or it doesn't fit. So that's why I'm taking the trouble of showing you this. Yeah, looks like it should be a good fit. So there's no right way or wrong way to stick this in. It can go this way, it can go that way, okay? Because it's got contacts on both sides. Other bulbs may be different, but for this one, either way. So let's get this new one in. So there it is. It, it kind of snapped in really nice. Uh, so I think we'll have good contact there. Now I'm going to take this and put it back in the hole. And I'm going to angle it up like that and then twist it down and it will lock itself in. I need two hands so I can't really show you me doing that. Um, but uh, that's what I'm going to do. There's some tabs that fit in to those carved out areas and it'll work. I'll show you when I get it in. There it is, easy peasy and uh, just twist it, rotate it that way clockwise as you're looking at it and the angle that it goes in is like a 45 degree angle and then you just put it down until it's pointed you know pretty much level on that boxy square thing. Um, so I will show, I'm going to hold off the finish on this. I want to show it to you, the brightness at night, and I want to uh, be able to compare it to the other side, which will be the original light. Um, so this will be continued uh, tonight, okay? Okay, here's one shot of it. Uh, it's about 5.30, daylight saving time now in November. I'll take one shot now. It's still, it's dusk. Sunset, not quite dark. Okay, so here's the final thing. And uh, this is about as dark as it's going to get. And in a parking lot is kind of the Okay, so sorry about that. My uh, battery on my camera slash phone went out. Uh, so I gave it a quick charge now. And this is even a better parking lot. I drove short distance over to the post office. And I want to give you a long distance view and a close-up view and everything I I would say twice as bright at least uh, wider obviously and uh, I like it I like it a lot so uh, if you think these are nice I'm gonna give this uh, Froggy's five ribbits, and this is a new score. Five ribbits is like five stars. It's the best you can get, and uh, these are really uh, excellent backup lights. I'm going to put the other one in. Uh, probably not going to show you a picture of both of them because I don't need to because you can obviously see the difference with one. Give me a thumbs up or a like if this helps you out. Subscribe to my channel if you want more from Froggy, and uh, see you later. Be safe. Have fun. Froggy out. Bye-bye. Okay, here it is with both of them in, and I will promise you I will take one tonight when it gets dark and show you the both of them. Also, froggy tip, on the passenger side, when you twist that socket, twist it down. Driver's side, you twist it up. Passenger side, you twist it down, and it'll come out nice and easy for you. Okay, I'll see you tonight. And there it is. Those are my, uh, I guess those are my low beams on the front, lighting up the front part of the car. But there are the backup lights. Pretty bright.
so give me a thumbs up or like this helps you out subscribe to my channel if you want more car do-it-yourself projects from froggy and be safe have fun buy backup lights oh well here's one more i, I like them so much <laughs> i can't stop taking pictures of them all right so this is back at my garage there you go